Many thanks for staying with us. We'll be switching gears right now to the NLC, where we understand that the Nigeria Labour Congress has formally written to the police, stating why the NLC president, Joajero, could not honour an invitation by the police. In light of the brewing face-off between the Labour Union and the Nigerian police force, the NLC asked its members to be ready to commence on a nationwide strike, if required. International bodies like the Amnesty International Nigeria accused the federal government of trying to undermine and intimidate NLC and its leadership with allegations of terrorism financing. International Trade Union Confederation also expressed concern over what it called escalating attacks on the trade union's movement in Nigeria. Ajero was meant to appear before the police investigation team recently for interrogation over allegations of terrorism financing and treasonable felony. But the labor movement urged the police to shift the date to August 29. Now joining me to discuss this is Dr. Abayomi Arabambi, is the National Publicity Secretary of the Lamidia Papa-led faction of the Labour Party. I also have Odion Olaye, the Chairman, NLC at Doe State. Gentlemen, thank you for joining me on the program. Thank you, Dr. Good evening. Nigeria. Good evening. All right, uh, let me start off with you, Dr. Arabambi. Um, just yesterday, you wrote an open letter to the IGP concerning the NLC president, Joe Ajero, you know, uh, asking that the IGP be put on red alert as regards some reservations you expressed in that letter. And today there's another statement from your party, actually signed by you. Uh, the heading says, Labour Party uh, Press Statements. And, uh, of course, it follows the heading which has Joajero on the prowls with 200 million naira to uh, procure federal <coughs> high court restraining order against the IGP. The Labour Party hereby puts the chief judge of federal high court on red alert. President of Nigeria Bar Association is also put on red alert. And you went on in that particular, you know, uh, letter. I'll just read uh, the point three. He said, the all confirmed source also rumored that over 200 million naira has been raised by some political enemies of Nigerian democ democracy as it seems to bribe and willingly judge within the federal high court uh, jurisdiction located in Abuja, Lagos, and Potakot's division. You went on and on. I, I would like you to speak again on this letter. The new one or the, or the one of the... The new one. Well, thank you very much. Uh, uh, Comrade Joajero, you know, being the person that I know for a very long time, you know, with his capability, uh, we invited, you know, into the admit, and that was how, you know, we got the information that their lawyer deliberately yeah. choose to hide under Section 36, which is not in conformity with what happened to Joe Ajero regarding all the charges, because you are not being charged to court, you know, for them now to now go and chop for injunction, so that at the end of the day, they will not be able to carry out the civil unrest that is planning. But uh, is, this, is this, I mean, in, in that letter, you kept using the word unconfirmed report. On what premise do you have all of this? I said we infiltrated their mix. You know, those of them that gave up the So, so you the infiltrated their mix, you planted moles within them? No, no. We infiltrated their mix. You know, I wouldn't want to divulge their information out. So it they means you planted moles. You know, they were, you know, they were just being pumped up. You know, mm. that we have this in under, uh, I mean, control. Uh, before then, we got an injunction. And by the time they now invite Ajo Ajero, it's going to hide under the injunction to now declare, you know, a strike against the Federation of Nigeria. And no fully well that he too doesn't will be part of that. I don't know why he has to be planning so because what they invited him for, he has not been charged to court in line with the practices, as mentioned by the Fallano. We are not done that. I mean the position is there for you to go. If you go to that section 36, upon which they are saying they want the police to punish them with the detail, it is unconstitutional. It is only when police want to charge you to court that you are supposed to punish their lawyer, the lawyer of the accused, with all information. Not when right. you are being alleged, you are asked to come and give small explanation 
about terrorism, you know, and who and who like that. It's not, it's not when we have to come up with information. All right. So uh, it was a deliberate plan by then, and mm -hmm. you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised about what we say now. They are seriously shopping, moving around those three states to get that injunction against, you know, the third general of police. From uh, further inviting... Okay. No, let, let me just tell you what, what the fight they are. From further inviting, harassment, detention, or writing any further letter to do a zero. Those are the four things, you know, they are, I mean, they made the request. You, you people should know, I mean, professional litigant, there is no court I don't know in Nigeria. Okay. So that was how we, we got our information, and we are now putting the chief judge of Nigeria on the red alert that nobody should be compromised. All right. Uh, let me leave you for a moment, uh, Dr. Arabambi. Let me move to Mr. Olai. You, you had some of the things that uh, uh, Dr. Arabambi said, and one of which he said is that he infiltrated. They infiltrated your mist, meaning that maybe you might just have moles, you know, uh, amongst you. I, I would just like you to react to some of the things he said and the allegation that uh, some monies is being raised uh, to sort of uh, counter uh, the uh, 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 call by the IGP. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dabo. You see, doctor, I'm sorry to say what I want to say. Uh, I'm seeing him as a busybody. Busybody in the sense that the Labour Party of a team that make him to start writing all those uh, a letter, like I said yesterday, he did not know how the Labour Party was created. Labour Party is for Nigeria Labour Congress. That by the wayside, I'll come to say how members of Nigeria Labour Congress uh, form uh, that uh, Labour Party. And uh, the constitution of Nigeria Labour Congress also permits its members to play politics in any of the uh, like minds uh, uh, party. The what doctor is saying, why I describe him as a busybody, is that in our next meeting, we had a regard the invitation of the police to Comrade Ajiro, asking all affiliate union to be at the last, if it detail that will go on indefinitely strike. The issue of raising money, do the Nigeria Labour Congress have money? Neither to go and raise 200 million naira, to go and bribe one judge, that is no, completely no. And nobody, Ajoro, and any member of Nigeria Labour Congress, no one is having that plan. What Nigeria Labour Congress member is saying, uh, people like uh, the doctor who is uh, with us now, they are trying to hide under the federal government because NSC is agitating that Labour Party belong to NSC. Even at that, NSC is not saying they are bringing national chairman. But let them be fairness in that party. That is what Nigeria Labour Congress is saying. Not that Juro is a person. So what doctor have just said, Nigeria Labour Congress is ready 200 million uh, to bribe judge, to get a restraining order. Juro should not be arrested. He should not be prosecuted. He should not do no further letter. All those are black lies. They are only judge using that one to buy face, to buy favor from the federal government. And uh, the federal government, everybody in Nigeria know that Nigeria Labour Congress is the voice of Nigeria workers. And the way Joe Ajoro is leading Nigeria Labour Congress today, all workers in the entire nation are uh, happy. Mr. Olai, so what just in 30 seconds. Said about the letter he wrote, all is loud, not okay. in, in, in 30 letter. seconds, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we are pressed for time. There are concerns that uh, the NLC, particularly under the leadership of Joe Ajoro, has become political and is compromised. Is, I mean, should we be worried? Thank you very much. I want to tell you, uh, Joe Aguero uh, is not uh, uh, compromising anything, or rather to work for any political party. Like I've earlier said, Niger, the Constitution of Nigeria Labour Congress has its, it, it, it free its member to uh, be a politician, 
in any party of their choice, like myself, talking with you people. I am a member of People Democratic Party, PDP. And in the past, I want to mention leaders, like Congress Adams Ali Oshomori, one time president of Nigeria Labour Congress, contested under ACN as a governor of Edo State. And in the second tenure, he contests under APC. There, Comrade uh, Akbatasi, the former president of uh, Nobank, he contests as a member of House of Rep. He's there now for the fourth time. Mm. Uh, Comrade Nasiru, the current uh, governor of Kebi State, he was the president of uh, Nigeria uh, Teachers. He was the president for about eight years. Presently, today, he contested under APC and is now in the uh, is the governor of uh, uh, Kebi State. So he actually uh, having any plan to contest for any position or rather any uh, political party is using Ajuro, nothing like that. All right. The interest so of Ajuro is that the Nigerian labor, uh, the workers of Nigeria interest should be protected. All right. Uh, and if you look, okay. uh, so excuse me, sir, if you look at some of what Ajuro and his executive as agitating for today, if you look at the, if you say back uh, six I'm points, sorry, I'm sorry, sir, but, but we Angelo need to go. To meet, uh, well, Angelo come to meet about three points on it, and about three points is the one that his self and his executive job brought up. So Angelo, no uh, political party that is using him, and uh, or rather to use any member of the Nigerian Labour Congress to fight with any comment. Okay, uh, thank you for that. Now, let's uh, take uh, Dr. Arabambi's final thoughts on this. 30 seconds. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I think there was a broad misconception for the explanation that uh, uh, their constitution allowed them to partake in politics. That is, on their individual form. The trade union section 15, while A, B, and, a, B, and C forbid NLC as a body to meddle in, in, in a political party. They are prospired from using union funds. But to our charging and surprise, Joe Ajero and Comrade Buaja, on the 13th, have the audacity to write to INEC with letter head of labor, I mean, labor, labor union, introducing somebody as national chairman of Labour Party as national secretary. That alone is against Section 15 of the Trade Union Act. So you should know what is telling Nigeria because this is an international television. For you to say, oh, you are permitted. No, you are not permitted as a body. Ajero has been spending energy money. In fact, the last time they invaded the property sector, Ajero sponsored over 20 buses mm. that has people. Where did Ajero get that kind of money? Is the salary now. He should just go and explain himself. That was why we challenge him that he likely to be, for, you know, receive funding to disappear Nigeria because NSC cannot be used to fight government like that. But now want to hide under our party. Dr. Arabandi, I'm afraid we need to go. On this day on Nigeria. I'm afraid we need to go. But gentlemen, thank you so much for your time on the program. Uh, Mr. Odion Olaye and uh, Dr. Abayomi Arabambi. Gentlemen, once again, thank you for your time on the program. Thank you very much. All right.